Welcome back to AHA TV. I'm Trey Johnson. We are wrapping up a busy week of collaborative learning and networking in Chicago, featuring the final late breaking science sessions and wrapping up discussions on the trending topics at this year's scientific sessions. Back with us now in the Windy City is our Yasmin Hassan as things come to a close at this year's event. Trey, what a success Scientific Sessions 2022 has been so far. The atmosphere with all of us being back together again this year here in Chicago has been amazing. With all the latest advancements in technology, everything is on display right here in the Science and Technology Hall and plenty of opportunities for attendees to learn about the latest updates in cardiovascular science and medicine. Today involved highlights of the new 2022 AHA, ACC, HFSA guideline for management of heart failure and an update on the 2022 cardiovascular clinical guidelines. These clinical guidelines include highlights and controversies within the guidelines regarding the care of STEMI patients, CPR and cardiac arrest, coronary artery revascularization, and chest pain management. Resilience is a necessity not only in the field of cardiovascular health, but in life, especially in the two years since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Michelle Albert shared tips and best practices to develop resiliency and thrive through difficult circumstances leaders actually talking about their own challenges um, and then you know because then that brings people in to the conversation and then implementing programs and strategies um, that address well-being and, uh, and not considering things like well-being to be soft right or that someone is not you know strong enough to um, to be successful I think is really important. We all have journeys, we all can have issues that can impact us, but we can get through it by our making sure that we're armored with the right resiliency tips, as well as the right team of people that can help carry us and that we can help others as well. Life's Essential Eight is the conceptual framework and guiding principle for the AHA Intelligent Health Solutions. This session started with a brief fireside chat on how these principles are used in the care plans and then a conversation with experts in the implementation of this approach. Life's Essential Eight is something that can be addressed individually for our patients as well as in the public health perspective and that using technological platforms like smartphones and other vehicles could really facilitate that. That we have novel opportunities bringing together technology as well as epidemiology and addressing clinical risk. Work-life balance is an important part of maintaining wellness and fighting burnout. Attendees in the early career in Fit Lounge got tips on how to have an awareness of your purpose, handling family and social interactions while in training, and what daily habits can improve their wellness and keep burnout at bay. Back in the early career in Fit Lounge, a panel of experts discussed the current landscape of inequity within our healthcare system and cardiovascular care delivery. What can be improved and strategies for attendees to promote equity within their training programs and institutions. Go Red for Women empowers women to know the risk of heart disease, take action to reduce that risk, and lead a heart healthy life for themselves and their families. 55 organizations in 51 countries have implemented Go Red activities and their communities. Today, through networking and discussion, attendees got a chance to hear from experts on the importance of equitable health care for women and what is needed to make improvements. There are a number of risk factors that are unique to women, and there are a number of cardiovascular risk factors that are predominant in women. And when they see the women in their practice at home, they will ask about their risk factors, define the level of risk for women, and institute interventions that will improve women's cardiovascular risk. More updates for attendees on new AHA and ACC guidelines in aortic health. Several experts took to the stage for a session to inform on the new evidence basis for a patient with aortic disease with an emphasis on shared decision-making, the importance of a team approach, and emerging genetic insights. And right after that, members joined together again for the closing session of Scientific Sessions 2022. What's trending in the world of cardiovascular health in 2022, closing out what has been an amazing event this year. And before we leave, congratulations to the winners of the Wellness Challenge, 
sponsored by Novo Nordisk and this year's AHA scavenger hunt. What a fantastic way to return fully in person this year for scientific sessions. I cannot wait to see what next year's event in Philadelphia has in store for us. But for now, here in Chicago, I'm gonna sign off and send it back to the studio to you, Trey. Yasmin, thank you so much. It has been an amazing week. And thank all of you for joining us on AHA TV for Scientific Sessions 2022. I'm Trey Johnson. Before we go, here's a look at the best of the best from this week in Chicago.